Using this opportunity to answer some questions that people have asked about how I make my videos while I'm on the road. And I don't want to carry a massive amount of movie making equipment. So with my best um, buddy's help, Christoph in Perth. Thanks, Christoph. I um, got the lowdown on the most simple, easiest methodology to do it. So this is all I carry. So first up is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 256 gig, which is uh, what I'm using right now to do this video. I have the latest uh, GoPro 8 Hero Black with the crash proof case, the Pro Shot holder, it's mounted to the front of the helmet. Um, in the GoPro, I've just got one spare battery. So everything I use on the bike is USB chargeable via a dual USB port, and I've never run the battery down. Um, I've got a um, SS SD card reader and spare SD cards, the 10,000 megaamp battery backup to power the Samsung one terabyte solid state drive um, hard drive storage and this adapter to connect these two and power it up to my phone. So I'll go into more detail about it, but um, this is basically how to make videos for iPhones. I'm not sure this could very well work this combo in an Android. I'm not sure. I've always had iPhones and I'm just getting too bloody old to learn new tech so I've stuck to the iPhones. So let me explain to you how I make them using iMovie. This is how I mount the GoPro on my helmet with a pro shot and it simply velcros to the helmet on both sides and I've cartwheeled down the gib on that and it hasn't come off and the um, new GoPro 8S Black Hero has a new waterproof crash proof cover which you have to upgrade if you're going from a 7 so they've changed the design with this little safety lock thing on here which is actually a bit of a pain in the ass but and I just simply pull it forward, do that, and tip the camera out. Quite easy to use, but it's still a pain. You know, KISS method, see, like that. If you don't get it straight, it just sort of won't clip on. But anyway, KISS method works good normally. And I just bend it up. And um, in relation to noise, people say, how do you get the um, sound so good? So when I'm riding, all I do is actually just crack my helmet to the first clip and I talk, so I would suggest that the wind noise is coming forward, but with me talking in here without the wind noise, the speaker is picking it up pretty clearly. And uh, yeah, so I don't have an internal mic because this helmet here, the Scorpion um, XO uh, ADV-1 is a flip top, which is really quite handy, um, even though it's taken a few bashes. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So you simply plug your little card reader into your iPhone and then open up your Photos app. Now I've actually already done this with this card but for the purposes of the exercise so you can see, suddenly this little icon appears up here called Import. And then when you click on that, all the videos that are on the SD card will um, pop up. Now, I've already imported these, so they're all showing as ticked, but otherwise you can select each one and import them individually, or you can click up here and select import all. Now, if you Im do import all, it sort of imports them in not in order, and there's no labels or numbers, so when you go to iMovie later on, you actually can't um, tell what order they're in, so I would normally just import one at a time and then delete it as I go. Um, but for the purposes of this, I just imported them all. Once you import them all, it'll come up with an option that asks you, do you want to delete them or keep them? Really critical. Don't say delete all until you've gone to your albums and check 
that it's actually imported all that footage and I count up the amount of videos so every now and then you'll get a corrupted one that hasn't imported but you know c'est la vie um, and then once I know they're in there then I go back to um, import and then I'll do delete all to free up the space on the card so it's as simple as that okay next step so I simply use um, the Apple standard um, iMovie app and go to create project. So click on that and do you want to do a trailer or a movie? I always choose movie. And then here comes all the footage that I've imported in. You can choose the type of media. So I just go to albums and recent and there's all the data that I've just imported in. So, um, for instance, I'll make a, a banner page. So in this case, uh, which one did I choose that I'm gonna use? Probably this one here, and then followed by, you know, several videos. So you select the ones you want, and then click on Create Movie. And it just brings it all in from your album so you can actually go through the footage scroll through and if you want to trim something so you can press play and see how and where that ends and then you simply click on it it borders it in yellow it's like the edit function on on your phone and you can just you know trim and cut them as you choose so for instance with this piece of footage here if I want to add text I choose the text option down here standard I want it down the bottom you get two options. I get rid of that one because it shows up big on the screen. And then just blah, 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 type in your text. Done. So there's a lot of options down here and it's just dicking around. You can make the volume higher or lower. You can speed up the footage. You can add text. If you want to um, add um, audio, then you go to the audio files. And iMovie has over a hundred soundtracks, so you can, you know, choose whatever music you want in the background. You add it, and then bang, that's dropped in that audio file. Once you're finished your movie, you press done. And you can watch it to see whether or not that's what you wanted and you've finished trimming and editing everything and then simply click on the little arrow icon down here and go save video and I save them in 1080 and now it'll export the movie and the movie will just simply drop into my photo album And then from my photo album, once I'm back in reception again, then I just upload to YouTube. So what the um, solid state hard drive does is it frees up all the um, videos that I've uploaded from the GoPro into my phone. And it's, it takes up a phenomenal amount of um, space. So um, when I'm out of range and I don't have access to my iClouds or Dropbox, um, I want to get that data off the phone so that each day I can keep uploading the uh, GoPro footage at the end of each day from the SSD card. And um, so it was important to get a solid state drive that didn't have uh, movable parts because of the vibrations and that on the bike with adventure riding. And lightweight, like that weighs absolutely nothing. So that, um, but you need to power these to run it in your phone. Now the guys in Broomett, um, Harvey Norman, um, were adamant that it wouldn't work. And, um, but anyway, I said, no, nope. my mate Christoph said it does. So we tried it and um, lo and behold, um, it actually worked and they were surprised as well. Actually, it wasn't Broom, it was in Kununurra. 
So um, you need to power this. So that's where my 10,000 megaamp battery backup comes into play. So, and then you need this $75 um, adapter. So the solid state drive plugs into the adapter. Then you need to get the um, power cable plugged into your battery backup. And then this simply plugs into your phone. And once it's in your phone, you then go to your photo album, select all the data that you want to transfer across and go into your files app, save it in files. Then once you plug this in, the option for this will come up. So I'll do some screenshots and uh, some GoPro footage to actually show you how that works. So now to save it to the um, terabyte hard drive, you go into your photo albums, choose the footage that you want. Make sure that your battery backup's turned on to drive the hard drive, or otherwise the options won't appear. So now I go to this, scroll down, and choose Save to Files. So that's the standard iPhone um, app, Save to Files. And now this is showing up, Samsung T5. You can create an album and give it a date, which I'll do for now, 2020-09-03, so 3rd of September 2020, done. That album's now created, and I wanna save those five videos into the Samsung, that album dated that. So now it's saving items to 2020-09-03. So that's just transferring across. The files app on your iPhone click on that and with the hard drive still plugged in you'll see it up here now Samsung T5 and there is my folder with the data that I've just imported so at any time later I can um, select those that and that and I can again re-import that and just simply choose save two videos and that will bring it back straight into done straight back into my photo album so that frees up all of that data so that's gone to my photo album now so if i go back to my photo album that those videos are going to be back in there and i can use them again for imovie um, another critical factor is is when your iPhone is full, go to General and iPhone Storage. So at the moment, I've used 100 gig of the 256 gig for photos. So to free up space on your um, iPhone, always go to this Review Large Attachments. Now I've already deleted them, but in here you'll have like hundreds of attachments and there'll be photos and videos and stuff that you've actually sent in text messages and emails. Delete them all, you no longer need them. It'll free up a stack of space. So, and another handy tip to free up some space is go into your photo album, go to albums, and scroll down to your um, recently deleted as well which i've also done to free up space so click on there and any photos or videos in there select all and delete them get them off because they all take up space as well what I do is before i put my gopro into my um helmet i always double check that the settings are correct because a couple of times i've had it on the snail or the time warp and and i've had you know a stack of footage not turn out the way that I want it. So I always double check, check that the battery's full, check that the SD card's empty, and that I've got the stabilizing settings on there um, as per what I want to shoot that day. So always just double check that first. Better to do that first than discover it's ship footage afterwards.